What's good, YouTube? Today, I'm going to talk about why God puts us in bad situations or why he lets bad stuff happen to us, you know? So, without the talking, bro, I'm not going to waste no more time to get this started. Y'all might think, y'all might be wondering, dang, like, you know, God, if God is perfect, if God is a great person, why he let bad stuff happen to us? Why he let bad stuff happen to good people? And for in simple terms, bro, what I'm going to tell you is it all happens for a reason. Rather, it all happens for a reason or he wants you to learn. Like, for example, all right, let's say this. Let's say if he made nothing bad in your life happen, bro. He made everything in your life go good. He made your life great, perfect, you know, everything going right. How are you going to learn to handle situations? Because when something bad happens to us, we, we, we learn from that situation. Even though in the moment, we might not be, like, thinking about it. But in the future, like, we learn from situations. For example, what can I say? You get your heart broke, right? You get your heart broke. Let's say when you get into your next relationship or you get with your next person, you know how to handle the situation and you know how to notice the signs because you've learned. You've learned from the past situations and you learned from other stuff. Like what's going on, you see? That's, that's, that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to learn from these situations and become better as a human. That's what he wants to do. Also, I got another example for y'all. Jesus Christ. We know what they did to him. We know what happened to him. They put him through the worst. They 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 scratch. I'm mean, not even scratch him. They beat him. They they didn't get they 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 never they my bad. They never fed him. They it was horrible what they did to him. I don't even want to get into detail, you know. And then you might be like, why would God do that to His own son? And you know why He did it? He did it for the salvation of us, for us to be to for us to be free of sin. If you believe in Him, that's why He did it. But you see, in the present moment, you're not gonna know that. You're going to be like, oh, God is a horrible person. No. The other thing, too, my bad, I did get a little bit messed up right there. Is because God also, he has a plan for us. He has a plan for us in the future. So he he, he has these situations happen. So, so for it's a better plan for us in the future. Like for a sample, though, now back to the situation with Jesus. He went through the worst. They put him through the worst. They abused him. They beat him. They, they, they put a crown of thorns around him. And they, you know, people might think, why would God do such a thing? That he, you know, God is God is perfect. Why would he do that to his own son? His own son, bro. He does that to his own son. And he did it for the salvation of us. That's the bigger meaning. So if anything happens in your life, bro, that's bad. You might not be in the best situation or whatever. Understand, rather, he wants you to learn from this situation or there's a deeper meaning to it. And and another thing too, this this deeper meaning, you might never understand it. You might never know, bro. God might be saving your life. You, you might never know. And look, hey, it's cool that we never know. It's not something, it's, it's not bad. Sometimes, you know, there, there's probably situations that God put me through that I, in the moment, I thought, oh, it sucks, man. Why, why me? Why does this have to happen? And look, maybe it saved my life or maybe it has a deeper meaning for me in the future. Or maybe the, the, the meaning, bro, it hasn't even happened yet, you know? It hasn't even happened yet. That's why, bro, whenever a bad situation happens to me, or a negative situation, I don't even look at it as a negative. Like, yeah, it sucks. It was a bad thing, but I just be like, you know what? It, it it's God's plan. It's God's plan. Rather, He want me to learn from it, or it's it's a deeper meaning in the future. And that's it. Obviously, in the moment, is I'm gonna feel like it sucks. I might be sad. I might be depressed. It's okay. We human. We human. Nothing wrong with that. We human. We make mistakes. We're sinners. That's fine. But. What I want you guys to get out of this video is, and I apologize for the background. My sisters are playing the VR. You know how they be. But I, what I want y'all to, to get from this situation, bro, is that it happens for a reason. Or he wants you to learn from it. That's it. The situation might be super bad, bro. Like, really bad. Like, your, like your life gets destroyed or whatever, bro. And I want you to know it's going to happen for a reason. And now, look, maybe this reason, maybe, like, because, again, bro, God works in really mysterious ways, bro. Like, it's, like, really mysterious ways. Like, for example, like, you ask God for strength, right? He's going to put you through difficult times. You ask God for wisdom. He's going to make you think about a, about a lot of hard stuff. That's how God works. You know, it's not like you ask God, yo, God, give me strength, and he's going to give you strength. Like, nah, you got to work for it, bro. Or you, or you gotta learn it again. You gotta learn it. Rather, you learn from these situations, or you get uh, what was I saying? Or it's for a, it's for a deeper meaning. 
That's what I'm trying to say. Because a lot of y'all might be like, oh, what do you mean to have this for a reason? Nothing happened in my life. My boy, you got to take action. Let's say your life is completely in ruins, right? In ruins, bro. You know, you don't got a job. You homeless. You, bro, you can't do this. What is happening for a reason, bro? You got to get back up on your feet and get and back and get grinding, bro. That's the reason it's happening. Because God wants you to see you back on your feet for you to work hard. Because God, God is not a genie also, bro. It's not like God is a genie. He going to just give you everything, bro. No. If your life... If, if, if I was broke, bro, and like I was in a bad situation or whatever, I would be like, I'm going to get myself out of the situation. I'm going to become better. I'm going to improve as a man. That's what you got to do. No, he don't like he don't like it when you start complaining. No. That's what I'm saying. Everything happens for a reason. But again, us humans, bro, y'all gotta be a little bit smart and think with your brain. Cause God is God don't give out handouts, bro. He don't give out handouts, bro. He gonna see he might see like, okay, he getting his life together. He put in the work and you know, good for him. I'm a blessing real quick. And that's how it works. It's not like you you yo, your life going bad and you like, oh what God, why me? God you don't know, bro. You know the plan. Maybe if you got up off your ass and you started working, but you would see the plan. But then again, you too lazy. And God don't like lazy people. I am 99% sure he, he said in the Bible something. He don't like lazy people. You see, bro? Like, is that stop? Maybe stop blaming everything on God and maybe you look at yourself and be like, all right, what's wrong with me? You know what I'm trying to say? And I understand if you mad. I understand if you pissed off. I understand it, bro. You don't know. You don't want to be here or whatever, bro. But you got to look at yourself and be like, all right, what can I do from this situation? Is it a bad situation? Yes, but we can turn negative into positive. That's damn for sure. You can turn any situation negative positive. Yes, you can. You can be in, a, in no money. You can be broke and make yourself rich or even richer. See, that's part of God's plan. But you also got to put in your part too. God not going to give you everything. Just hand out. It don't work like that, son. It don't work like that. You got to put your part in, and then he going to give you what you do. You got to make sure you work hard at it. That's it. You ask God for strength, he going to give you hard times. And he going he gonna to give you tests. He going to put you through these trials and tribulations, bro. And if he sees you not offer the strength, bro, you're not getting the blessing. You said he complaining. You sitting back. You being lazy. You, uh, I don't want it. And stop, then maybe just stop blaming everything on him, bro. Maybe look at yourself. And I'm not saying I'm here on perfect. You know, I make mistakes. I'm a ma Am I going to make mistakes after this video? Yes, bro. Am I going to make later in my life? Have I, made, make, have I made mistakes before too? Have I made mistakes today? Yes, bro. Don't also look at me like idolizing me as like I'm a perfect person. But I just make mistakes. I just know now like why this happened. I wanted to share this information with y'all so y'all know too. So that's enough for this video. Uh, I got, you know, I just explained myself why God lets bad stuff happen to us. And y'all already know, it's rather he wants you to learn from it or he got a better plan for the future. Uh, I can get more into detail with all this. And if like, this is just, I want to I make this video quick and spread the message quick. I don't want to waste y'all time. Uh, if you want me to talk about more of these like wisdom talks, y'all can tell this not really like, this video is a little bit more serious. It's not like reactions. We're not messing around. I do got videos like that. If you watching this, if you've, if you've like known me from this video or this video got recommended to you, uh, you can watch my other videos. It's a more react. We do reactions. We have a little bit more of a fun time, but this video is a little bit more serious. So if you want to check them out and stuff, bro, you can check it out. But enough with the talking. Amen, and have a good day.